UMass Boston men's basketball in their 2022-23 home opener against Colby Sawyer College on Tuesday night in the Clark Athletic Center. Just before Thanksgiving break, it would be the night for Malik Lorquette, the big man with an early 4-0 run for the Beacons right here, getting an early layup. And then right here in the post against Connor Kelly to give the Beacons a 4-0 lead right off the bat. Lorquette, a short while later, would hit back-to-back free throws right here and make it 11-7 Beacons. But the Chargers would come back and they would get their first lead of the game as Scott Lampron would pull up right here for three on the transition. Colby Sawyer takes the lead 13-11, but then Malik Lorquette just going right back to work on the other end, down 16-13. A beautiful pass from Emmanuel Zayas to Mariano Olivier Rodriguez over to Lorquette for that layup. And then off the Olivier Rodriguez miss right here, you see Lorquette's going to get the board and lay it home. Beacons within one. And then Xavier McKenzie would give the Beacons the lead 19-18 with this driving layup right here before Colby Sawyer would go on a 13-2 run capped off by this Omar Boone three-pointer up top to give Colby Sawyer a 10-point advantage. But the Beacons would not go quietly as Tommy Burris right here on the pass from Zayas with the three-pointer. The Beacons within seven. And then right after that, Burris is going to find Ike Alua up top for three. And now the Beacon deficit is just four. Malik Lorquette, with the Beacon still down four, is going to get his 10th rebound in the first half alone, which would give him his double-double already. Lorquette, in 18 minutes, had 18 points and 12 boards. And then Emmanuel Zayas, right before the end of the first half, lays it up and in. Beacons within one going into the second half. And it would be a thrilling second half. We pick it up. With about 11 minutes to go in regulation, 59-57, Colby Sawyer and Xavier McKenzie right down the pipe to tie it up at 59-all. And then Lorquette, double teamed, one man lays off. It's just him and Boone on the baseline, one-on-one. The reverse layup falls, 61-59, Beacons. Lorquette again with the game tied up. Bobby Joy, no-look pass, baseline. Lorquette, yes, Beacons in front, 63-61. However, the Chargers would go on a big run right here to take a 10-point lead, but the Beacons would again roar back. Six minutes to go. Bobby Joy up top, bangs it home. Beacons back within seven. A short while later, it's Olivia Rodriguez from the corner. Three. Yes, he's got it, and it's a four-point game. And then Emmanuel Zayas off of the miss down low by Lorquette, who is double-teamed, and then against Kelly one-on-one, You're going to see Boone just throw it away right there. Zayas picks his pocket, and the Beacons now within two. Now the Beacons trailing by four. Livia Rodriguez nails the three. They're back within one. And then Xavier McKenzie with the go-ahead layup right here with three minutes to go. Puts the Beacons up by one, 77-76. Omar Boone would get a pair of free throws with a minute to go in regulation. Colby Sawyer now up, 78 to 77, forcing UMass Boston to call a timeout, set something up. And they really didn't have to set anything up. As you see right here, it was the defense that does the work. Malik Lorquette getting the ball away from Connor Kelly, lays it home. He wanted the foul, but the Beacons have a one-point lead with just over 18 seconds remaining in regulation. And then Omar Boone would finish the job for the Chargers. Down low one-on-one with Olivia Rodriguez. The turnaround jumper nails it. Beacons call timeout. One more chance to win it right here. And it would be up to Xavier McKenzie, who would go full length of the court with 7.2 seconds left, driving on Kelly. The layup, no good. And the Beacons fall at home in their home opener, 80-79. to Malik Lorquette, a double-double in 36 minutes, 24 points, 19 rebounds, 10 of 15 shooting. On the other end, Omar Boone, the game winner, had 22 points, 9 rebounds in 34 minutes. The Beacons will play in the Black Coaches Collegiate Classic this Saturday against Leslie University at 7.30 p.m.